bacon wrapped dates. Sounds good, right? But what about bacon wrapped dates with bourbon caramel sauce? Redonkulous. I'm gonna show you how to make this easy six ingredient appetizer recipe that is guaranteed to blow the socks off whoever eats it. Whether it's Christmas, New Year's Eve, Easter, whatever sort of get together that you plan on throwing, these will be an absolute hit. I can't say it enough. Super easy to make, follow along, because the first thing we're gonna do is a very foolproof caramel recipe that you can use on just about anything. Go ahead and take some unsalted cold butter along with some packed light brown sugar over to your cooktop. And in a sauce pot, we're gonna simply add in the brown sugar and then the butter. We're gonna hit it with a touch of heavy cream just to add a little bit more fat in there. And then over low heat, we wanna whisk all of these ingredients together. It's gonna take about three to four minutes just until the ingredients are combined and that it breaks down. So there's no like grittiness in there. This caramel sauce should be very, very smooth. And just like that, this caramel sauce can be completely finished. But like I said, bourbon. Remember, all bourbon is whiskey, but not all whiskey is bourbon. And with that said, you dang sure can use whiskey if you've got some laying around. Or Comey's, this one's for you. You can add some other liqueurs in there. What if you hit this with Amaretto or Frangelico? Dude, the most insane caramel sauce of all time, right? So go ahead, take that pot off the burner. I'm gonna add in just a little bit of bourbon. It might bubble up for a second, but once you whisk it, it's gonna bubble up even more as it incorporates into that caramel sauce. It gives it a really nice finish. Not overpowering, nothing like that. You get this hint of bourbon, it's just enough. It's gonna be absolutely ridiculously delicious. And like I always say, you understand these techniques like finishing with a liqueur or a bourbon or even a rum you'll understand and put all these things together in all of your cooking so that your homemade food from scratch will be so much better than anything you can buy anywhere. I promise you, you can do this. So now we've got some dates. Dates come from the date palm tree. They're indigenous to the Middle Eastern sort of tropical areas. And the most popular dates are Medjool, which are these right here. And let me stop and say, these have a pit in them. You can absolutely buy dates from the local grocery store that have no pits in them. To me, it's really not a big deal to remove them because I'm gonna show you how easy it is. You're gonna be like, oh my gosh, can totally do that. Probably takes two to three minutes to do like 25 dates, no time at all. What I like to do is simply pinch the top and the bottom together. It'll sort of maybe crack at some point right in the center of it. I pull the date apart right where that crack is. You can see the long, skinny, pit that's in here, go ahead and remove it and then continue this process until all of the pits have been removed from the dates. And let me stop right there. If you're one of those people who like to save everything, you can actually save the date pits. You could plant it and literally grow a brand new date palm tree. You can dry it out, rinse it and grind it up. It's got a ton of fiber in it. It actually extracts quite a bit of oil as well. You can use the oil or the powder in cooking and baking. Tons of people do this. Just a little FYI, if not, throw them away. Now what we wanna do is wrap them in bacon. I've got some medium thick sliced bacon here. You can absolutely get this from your butcher store or you can use thick slice or even regular slice is totally fine. Go ahead and then slice that bacon right in the middle because each of those half little strips are gonna be used to wrap up our dates. So in one hand, place down your bacon strip, put the date right in the center, and then simply roll it up. You want that crease, like that last little bacon roll up side, to be on the bottom of your date. I like to set them aside on a sheet tray lined with parchment paper. You can put them on a plate, whatever you'd like to do here, until they are all finished. So repeat this process till all the dates or the bacon have been used. I'll say like in the past, I've usually seen dates with toothpicks. Like I just think it looks tacky. I can't help myself. So you use toothpicks to hold the bacon uh, wrapped around the date, like keeping it together. But if we sear that little crease shut, that little bacon crease shut, it's gonna hold just fine. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Head over to your cooktop and in a very large saute pan on medium heat, 
we're gonna add in a wee bit of oil, literally like two teaspoons of canola oil. And like I said earlier, put the bacon wrap dates crease side down right into the pan so we seal that bacon right around the date so that it does not pop open. Takes maybe three to four minutes on each side. We wanna get a nice golden crisp brown on these. Don't worry if they're not finished on the sides because we are gonna hit this in the oven. And you also may have to do these in batches depending on how many dates you have. That is completely fine. Like I said, it doesn't take that long to do these. But when they are all finished, I like to set them on the side I traditionally always have a sheet tray lined with parchment paper. You can put them on a plate, totally cool too. And then I like to drain off some of that bacon fat. Not all of it, leave just a little bit left because what we're gonna do at this point is put the bacon wrap dates back in there. Some of that bacon fat is gonna help flavor everything up really, really nicely. Go ahead and line these little dudes up just like soldiers all around that pan. And now for the magic we're gonna pour that bourbon caramel sauce all over the top. It's gonna go all over and around these bacon wrap dates. Once it's to this point, we're going in the oven on 325 degrees, only gonna take 15 to 17 minutes for the bacon to finish cooking and for those bacon wrap dates to absorb all that amazing bourbon caramel flavor. We're literally cooking it in this goodness. It's gonna be so insanely delicious. Cannot say it enough. Go ahead and take them out of the oven. I mean, they smell amazing. I mean, you can only imagine how good these are going to taste. And then to plate them up, because I don't like using toothpicks, not only does it look kind of tacky to me, I guess, you want that sauce, bro. You wanna scoop that date up and bacon with all that delicious bourbon. I mean, who doesn't want that? You do. I put them in a little serving dish, whatever you have and then I serve it alongside spoons. That way you can get all that sauce in one delicious bite, boom. The best appetizer you could possibly serve to your friends. And if you want another absolutely bomb appetizer to serve up, be sure to check out my tuna poke tostadas and I will see you on that recipe.